If you struggle with double bass drumming from 100 to 140 beats per minute, then this video is for you. Let me tell you, you are not the only one struggling with those tempos. Take a look at this comment right here. A clear sign that we've all been there. But the good news, there's a way through. The following exercises are going to help you if you are a complete beginner and just started working on your double bass skills. They will also help those that struggle with this currently. And on top of that, this is also for drummers who can already play at those tempos and just want to make sure they never struggle with double bass 100 to 140 beats per minute again. To be honest, working on my control and endurance at those tempos has never been that difficult for me especially while I was playing for Balfour back in the days. Back then it was all about double bass and endurance blast beats, that was it. Since I played all those blast beats between 200 to 260 BPM as two foot blast beats, right, left, right, left, I worked on my slow double bass endurance all the time. On top of that, while on tour, I incorporated these following three exercises I'm going to show you right now. They have helped me stay in shape and play 60 notes from 100 to 140 with my feet with ease. Before we dive in, here's something to kickstart your progress. The ultimate double bass drumming guide is available for you to download right now. Absolutely free. Packed with these exercises and more to build your control and endurance. Just click the link below and secure your copy. Trust me, it's a game changer. Now let's get back to the exercises. First flat foot. This one is about training our upper leg, especially our hip flexor. Make sure to keep your foot in place. Best would be a 90 degree angle between your lower leg and your foot. You also don't need your pedals for this one. And by the way, for those of you struggling with double bass at these tempos, I definitely recommend to first start out without pedals. This way it's easier for you to build up your confidence to move your feet at those tempos. This will laser help you out big time when you start to play on your pedals again. Now back to the exercise. Start playing single strokes at a slow tempo. For most drummers this would be around 80 to 100 beats per minute. Play 60 notes with your feet for 2 minutes straight. Then take a 30 second break and increase the tempo by 5 beats per minute. Continue to play for another 2 minutes. I want you to increase the tempo until you reach the point where your feet start to lose control or you feel that you have to use other muscle groups to keep up with the metronome. That's your final tempo for this exercise that day. Write it down and try to break through that barrier on your next practice session. Well done my friend. Next exercise, calves only. With this one we are improving our control with our lower legs. Same workout routine, start playing 60 notes at a slow tempo for 2 minutes straight, followed by a 30 second rest. Increase the tempo by 5 BPM, then start playing again. For this one, be careful to relax the muscle groups in your upper leg. Just focus on raising and lowering your heels, that's it. And now on to the third and final exercise, running on your pedals. This final exercise is basically a combination of the first two. Now we are going to combine the muscle groups in our upper and our lower leg. The big difference right now is that I don't want to start at an extremely slow tempo again. Take a look at the notes from your previous exercises. If your maximum tempo with the first exercise was 125 and 130 BPM for the second one, then just subtract 5 BPM from the first exercise, your weak spot, the slower exercise, and this would be your starting tempo for our running on your pedals exercise. In this example, 125 BPM with the flat foot exercise minus 5 BPM would result in a workout tempo of 120 BPM for this final workout. Now I wanted to play double bass at 120 BPM for 10 minutes straight without stopping. You can do this one on and off the pedals, although I first recommend starting out without pedals. So now all you have to do is repeat these three workout routines just three times per week. After about three weeks you will be able to see an improvement in your playing already. I promise you that. Now let's unpack the why. Why it's really helpful to take a step back and start these exercises without pedals at first. As you know our bodies are efficient, they prefer the path of least resistance. So coming back to this first comment I've shown you. If you are already comfortable at 180 BPM using the anchor technique, dropping to 130 using your upper and lower leg can feel counterintuitive. Your body wants to shift back towards easy and that's usually the anchor technique, especially when fatigue sets in. 
These three simple exercises help you build up the foundation and endurance needed to maintain control without running out of steam. Implement them and you'll find those moderate tempos aren't just manageable, they are comfortable. So remember, download your free ultimate double bass drumming guide below and let's turn those challenges into victories. I wish you an awesome day. Cheers from Vienna. Bye bye.